how to add Shopify color swatches on product page. Hey guys, welcome back. If you're looking to add color swatches on your Shopify store on your product pages, I have a step-by-step -step guide for you guys. Now, a lot of times people complicate this by introducing different code editors and I don't recommend those because those can be pretty difficult for a average creator to make those codes and make those edits and that is usually only applicable on the dawn theme so if you're using a different theme then your code is going to be different you know the lens you're supposed to be edit are going to be different so that's why i'm going to show you guys a simpler method to do this and build your color swatches so the first thing i'm going to do is i am going to create a new product and i'll show you guys how you can add even a single color swatch so I'm just going to click on hoodie and I'm going to click on upload new and I'm just going to open this image up over here. We're going to add a price and then we're going to add variants. In our variants, I'm going to click on color and then I'm going to add two values, green and let's say blue. And then I'm going to click on done over here and save our product. So this is our new product that we have just created. Now let's take a look at what it's looking like in our Shopify store. So this is our product. And if I click on our product over here, you guys can see it says green and blue. It does not have the product swatches as I have added in this particular product over here. So how can you get started with adding your actual product swatches? Well, first thing I'm going to do is I am going to edit the inventory on these items. So we're going to scroll down and I'm going to just save this. Now, the way that I like to do this is with an application. So what you're going to do is click on settings on the bottom left and then click on apps and sales channels on the left as well. And then click on your Shopify app store. Now, a lot of people say that if I'm doing this with an app, then it probably means I won't get accurate colors. Well, don't worry. I'll show you guys a little tip at the end of this video where you can build accurate color swatches. So you're going to search for color swatch over here. And once you search for color swatch, you're going to install this application called Glow Color Swatch. Now, this is the one you want because this is free to use. You don't have to pay for this. No one wants to pay for a simple little item like this. And you can add it for over 100 products. So I really don't think for most businesses, they have, you know, more than 100 product listed at products listed at once when you're starting out. So you're going to click on install over here and once you click on install you're just going to be led back to the shopify installation page now in this installation page you're going to click on install app on the top right and i'm just going to take a blue hoodie image as well just so i can later on just add this into our products as well now once you have installed your color swatch over here you're going to click on the bottom right it says continue as free. Now once you proceed with the free plan you're going to insert your data. So you're going to click on let's start over here and now you're going to configure what you want to add. So we're going to be adding our product colors that is what we're specifically looking to add which is going to be a color swatch of our product. Now you guys can see there are three options. now. I'm going to turn off the size options and I'm going to add the color or custom image option. Then I like to keep it simple first and I just like to go to the next step. You can directly click on configure over here and you're going to be led to the configuration page. However, when I do it, when my actual app is not completely set up, you might end up loading the page for a really long time. So just to make it a bit simpler, I go into our global color swatch, click on next step, just leave the color swatches open. Then you're going to size how you want them to be. So I want them to be circular and I want them to be large in size. This is the preview, just so you guys can see. Then you have the swatch spacing, so how large of a distance should there be. Then you have your swatch border style. I only want one border, and let's say I want the thickness of the border to be larger. So you can add that as well. Now, after that, you have your border colors, and then after that, you have your hover effect and more. So over here, you're just going to add your size, how you want this to appear to whether or not it should reduce the size when someone hovers their mouse over it. Then if it should increase the size if someone hovers their mouse over it. Then you also have other options like if you want the image to be zoomed in on when you have the item displayed. Now you might be wondering, this is the item display. I'm going to show you guys later on how to add colors in this as well. So don't worry about that. 
But after that, we have the alignment of our content. If this should be centered right or left, I want it to the left. And then I'm just going to click on next step. Now, after this, I don't like to change anything. I'm just going to click on next step simply because you don't need to do a lot of changes to this. And then you're going to apply this to your live theme. Whichever one is your live theme, you want to click on that and click on go to theme editor. Now, once you click on go to theme editor, you will see on the top left in your app embeds, you will have this enabled. And once you have this enabled, just click on save on the top right to make sure that this is enabled like so. Now, after that, you're just going to click on I see the swatches widget. Even if you don't see it, you're just going to leave that. And now you're just going to click on your global color swatch options. And then you're going to turn off the size options and then you're going to click on the configuration button on the bottom right now after that you're going to be able to see the actual colors of your products now you can search for your particular product that you have so we're doing this for our hoodie and the hoodie colors are green i'm pretty sure green yeah so you can search for those colors as well or you can just go on ahead and see the colors over here i have green and blue added so now what you're going to do in color one i want to insert the green color of my hoodie now a lot of people say that oh i'm just eyeballing the color well you don't have to eyeball the color you can actually go into the shopify app store just open up your image and then you're going to download the eyedropper chrome web extension i have this downloaded over here just install this extension and then you're going to click on the extension over here and then you're going to click on pick color from web page now you can hover over your mouse and just select the color and then the color will appear on the top right over here now you're going to go back into your shopify web color and you're going to open up the extension and then the extension will show you the hex code on the top right and you're just going to copy this and then paste it in the bottom left hex section like this and now the actual particular color of your item will be shown now i'm going to do the same with the blue item i don't have the blue image added yet so i'm just going to or this one is the one that i'm going to use so i'm just going to use this shade the lighter shade that is present like this one and then I'm going to go into my store settings and then copy the hex code from here and then paste it right over here. So once I've pasted both of my hex codes, I can click on save on the top right. And once you click on save, you can open up your online store. So this is our online store and let's scroll down to our hoodie product like so. Now you guys can see this is now displaying green and blue. Now another great thing you can do is that once you've added this item, so now we have our color swatches, we can go into our product section and you can go into your actual product. So open up your product over here, scroll down, and in your variants, you're going to click on edit. Just click on any variant option. This will open up the variant detail and you can add a particular image for each individual variant. So I'm gonna add this image for our blue variant. So when people click on the blue variants, it actually displays that particular image. So I'm just gonna click on done and then click on save on the top right. And just like that, now if I open up my online store now with these newer changes, I'm going to scroll down, open up the hoodie over here, and we have the color variations. And by clicking on the blue color, we have the blue image displayed. So in this way, you can get started with creating color swatches on your Shopify store. It's simple, easy, and you don't have to learn a lot of code to do this. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video.